Despite the sun, Australians are not making enough vitamin D. Lifestyle, skin type and clothing, age and illness are all contributing factors. I guess the most obvious um, reason why I'm so deficient would be the fact that I am uh, covered from head to toe. I am constantly working in a lab or in an office that actually has no windows. Ran Musa is not alone, with around 30% of Australians experiencing vitamin D deficiency. And that figure rises to between 40 and 50% at the end of winter. Professor Mason says health risks linked with low levels of vitamin D go beyond bone conditions such as osteoporosis and now extend to autoimmune diseases such as diabetes and multiple sclerosis. Uh, there is modest evidence that low levels of vitamin D increase the risk of certain cancers. This is best, um, uh, best evidence in colon cancer, but there is a link to some other cancers as well. In the early 90s, Finnish researcher Dr. Perjo Matilla discovered vitamin D2 in wild mushrooms. A 2009 University of Western Sydney study proved mushrooms exposed to ultraviolet light can efficiently create and retain vitamin D2. Mushrooms are grown indoors uh, so we can control the environment and ensure that we have mushrooms all year round. Uh, because of that, they don't see sunlight. So what we're doing here is putting it through a machine that gives it three quick bursts of vitamin D of uh, UV light. Mushrooms are the only non-animal food containing orgestrol. This means just three mushrooms exposed to UV light for only a second can produce the required daily intake of vitamin D. Commercialisation of the enriched mushrooms is in full swing across Australia, with labelled packages hitting the shelves late last year. For this commercial mushroom farm in Windsor, New South Wales, the machine used to administer UV light cost around $50,000. Every two months, analysis is carried out to ensure vitamin D enrichment. We regularly tech, uh, test the mushrooms and send them to a laboratory in Melbourne. Mushroom sales from this factory currently amount to 190 tonnes each week, but only 2% of that contain vitamin D2. Only a small portion at this point. Uh, we're hoping to, pr to produce them on a grander scale, but it's a matter of how the market uh, is taking it on board. Head of the Australian Mushroom Growers Association, Greg Seymour, is keen to cite the health benefits of the new product given the amount of people he says eat mushrooms. Just 10 years ago, only 34% of Australians were eating mushrooms. Today we've had a massive change in the Australian diet, and now 78%. That's nearly four out of five Australians eat mushrooms regularly. And on price at the retail end? Not a great deal more, there'll be a little bit of a surcharge just simply to cover the cost of the capital items that are involved in production. Indeed there is a surcharge for vitamin D enriched mushrooms that might be a bit of a stretch for some people. Prices at this inner city farm market reveal consumers can expect to pay more than three times the price of ordinary button mushrooms. Rayanne Musa says the premium for vitamin D mushrooms is reasonable because of difficulties she has with other supplements and that she only needs to eat three or four of the improved mushrooms to get her daily vitamin D requirement. Uh, and because of my problem of not swallowing tablets and not getting enough vitamin D when I am out in the sun, I certainly am looking for other sources. I know that I might not be experiencing any um, serious symptoms of vitamin D deficiency now, but it will hit me eventually. It is possible for people to produce harmful levels of vitamin D, but is very difficult and cases remain extremely rare. Professor Mason says vitamin D from mushrooms functions as well as other sources, but should not be seen as a complete solution. It's not an either or. I would advise people to get out when they can. Sunlight actually um, improves your mood. Um, and, you know, most people, even those who like mushrooms, don't want to eat them every day. Nathan Coates for UTS Journalism.